Hi, this video is going to cover the perimeter of composite figures. So hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to effectively solve problems involving calculating the perimeter of a composite figure like this one. So the perimeter means just the total distance around the outside of any figure. So if I know the length of each piece along the outside, I can just then add them up and then um, and then that'll give me the total perimeter. But the problem here is that I don't know the length of these two pieces. So in order to figure that out, um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of subtraction. So from here to here is 20 meters, but only but from here to here is just 6. So to figure out the length of this piece that we don't know, I can do 20 minus 6, and that'll give me 14 meters. Now the same idea can be used to find out the length of this unknown side. So from the top corner to the bottom is 22 meters, but from here to here is only 8. So to figure out the length of this unknown uh, side, I can just do the subtraction of 22 minus 8. And that will coincidentally give us also 14 meters. So now that I know every piece along the outside, I can just find out P, the perimeter, by adding up all the lengths. So 8 plus 20 plus 22 plus 6 plus 14 plus 14. Now, if you add them up, you should get 84 meters. Oops. Okay. So that's going to be the general idea. We need to know the length of each piece along the outside, and then we add them up. So this figure is made up of a rectangle and a semicircle. We're going to figure out the total perimeter for this figure. Uh, so this is 10 meters here. That's 24. This side will also be 10 meters. Now, we need to know what this curve is. Okay. Now, um, we can actually ignore this middle uh, line here because that's not part of the perimeter, right? This is inside of the shape. It's not outside. So when we're calculating the total perimeter, we actually don't add this length. Okay. Right now, we need to figure out how long this uh, curve here, this semicircle. So we're going to have to calculate that using a formula. So the circumference, which is just a fancy word for the perimeter of a circle, is uh, pi times the diameter. Now, because this is a semicircle, it's half of a circle. So pi times d is for a full circle. We need to divide by 2 to get the circumference of a semicircle. So we're going to do pi times d, the diameter here, and that should be 24 meters as well. And then we'll divide by 2. So the total circumference is going to be pi times 24 divided by 2. And that'll give me 37.7. I'm just going to round. 0.7 meters. All right, so the outside involves this 10, that 24, the 10, and the curve. So to find the total perimeter, that's all we're going to do. We're going to add 10 plus 24 plus 10, and then we're going to add the 37.7 that we just came up with. So I'll do that quickly in my head. That's 57, 61, 81.7 meters. All right. So let's try another question. Again, we just need to know the outside pieces. So this is 9.4 meters here, that's 10, and that's 9.4. Now again, I ignore this 20 meters when we're adding all of the perimeter because this is just, this is part of the inside and not part of the outside. So again, we need to figure out the curve of that uh, semicircle. So we're going to try this again. So here's a semicircle. The formula for the circumference, that's pi times the diameter. This is for a full circle again. So for a semicircle, we need to divide by 2. So pi times the diameter here, which is 20, and then we'll divide by 2. So pi times 20 divided by 2. So pi oops, times 20 divided by 2 will give me 31.4 meters. All right. So. For the total perimeter, we're going to do 9.4 plus 10 plus 9.4, and then the curve. All those other 
uh, lengths are part of the inside of the shape, so I'm going to ignore them. So 9.4 plus 10 plus, whoops, 9.4 plus the 31.4. Okay, I'm going to go to my calculator for this one. So 9.4 plus 10 plus 9.4 plus 31.4. 60.2 meters. Okay. So the key, one of the keys is to ignore those inside lengths and just focus on the outside. All right, let's try this figure here. So we've got uh, this piece is 20. I know that this length here in the diagram, that's eight meters. This is 32. Now I don't know how long this piece is. Okay, the hypotenuse of this triangle. Well, luckily, I can find out how long just the bottom of this triangle is by doing some subtraction. Right? If from one end to the other of this figure is 32, but just the rectangular portion is 20, well, that length here would be 32 minus 20, which is 12. So the bottom of this triangle here is 12 meters. That's 8. I can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the length of this hypotenuse. So. Uh, let's call that side C that I don't know. Okay. So we have to use Pythagorean theorem. Oops. Let's go A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now A and B are going to be the two sides of the triangle that we know. So this is A, and let's say that one's B. So A squared is, will be 12 squared. B squared will be 8 squared. And that's equal to c squared. So 12 times 12 is 144. 8 plus 8 is 64. So that'll get us c squared. And then we're going to add those two together. So that's going to be 208 is equal to c squared. Now to get c from there, remember we're going to have to just take the square root. So that's 208. We'll take the square root. That's 14.4. Okay. So that's side C. All right, so now that we know that this length is actually 14.4 meters, we're just going to add up all of the outside. So the total perimeter is going to be, we'll start from the bottom, 32 plus 8 plus 20 plus 14.4. So that's 40, 60, 74.4 meters. Okay. So, um, you may want to have Pythagorean theorem on your radar um, when you're uh, when you encounter a right triangle and you know two sides. We can figure out two sides, but you need to know the third side. Okay. So, to um, think about what you need to do to find the perimeter of a uh, composite figure, make sure that you determine the length of each piece. Ignore any lengths that are inside of the figure, and then just make sure to add up all the outside lengths. So uh, here's a couple questions. Um, there's this one here, and there's the next one over here. So what I'd like you to do is just um, pick one of the questions, uh, try them out, and then uh, we'll pause the video. And then when you uh, want to know what the answers are and check, uh, just uh, press play. So good luck. All right, so um, you need to know the amount of fencing needed to enclose the garden, so you need to find the perimeter. Uh, so here, this is seven, that's 20 meters, this is seven meters, that's 10 meters. So really the question here is, how long is that uh, semicircle again? Okay, so uh, to find the semicircle, the circumference again is pi times the diameter, and then you need to divide by two. So that's pi times the diameter, which is 10, and then divide by 2. So the circumference, let's get here, pi times 10, divide by 2, that's 15.7. So to find the total perimeter, again, you need to ignore this 10 meters here, because that's part of the inside. So we're going to do the total perimeter is 7 plus 20 plus 7, those are those three sides, plus this 10 here, and then plus the 15.7.
So that's uh, 30, 44, 59.7 meters, uh, which will get you the closest one would be 60. So the answer for that one would be A. Now for the second question here, if someone were to run around the track as shown a total of eight times, how many meters would that person run? So if you think about this track, uh, think about it as having two half circles put uh, just kind of split up. So if you put them together, you can think about it as one full circle. So um, to find out the outside of those two semicircles, you can just think about it as finding the circumference of a full circle, which is pi times the diameter. So the diameter would be 60 meters. So pi times 60. Um, so if we want to know that in meters, 60 times pi, 188.5. Okay, so that's the two half circles or semicircles together. Now there's this length here, which is 100, and the bottom length here, which is another 100. Now, remember, we don't add those 60s because those lengths are not part of the outside of the shape. So the total perimeter of the shape is 188.5, those are the two semicircles, plus 100, plus 100. So the total perimeter of this would be 388.5 meters. Now someone uh, has a question saying, uh, if someone were to run around the track eight times, right? so if you run around the track once, it would be that uh, many meters. So we just need to multiply that by eight. So 388.5, multiply that by eight, and you get 3,108 meters. So that'll be the amount of running eight times. All right, so uh, hopefully uh, this video has clarified how to calculate the, air, uh, the perimeter of a composite figure. Uh, thanks for watching.